Real estate's been done like this for 30, 40, 50 years. If a seller's not willing to pay you for what you're worth, I don't want to deal with that seller. Now with this new NAR settlement, when we take a buyer out, we have to have them sign a buyer's agency agreement. And basically it just goes through the steps of what we do and how we do it and gives different options for the buyer to choose if we're going to pay them, if they're going to, the seller's going to pay them, if the seller doesn't pay them, how do we get paid? There's different options. My buyer said to me, and I don't know if I necessarily agree, um, but what do you think? And he, he was an attorney. He said, listen, real estate's been done like this for 30, 40, 50 years, maybe a hundred years. To me, if a seller's not willing to pay you for what you're worth, I don't want to deal with that seller. So let's go on to the next one. So now we don't know what the compensation is on the MLS. So we have to call every single agent. And when some agent said, well, negotiate well, commissions, I'm like, well, my buyer doesn't want to hear that. They want to hear, you know, you're going to pay me a commission. Well, we can discuss it after. I'm like, you know what? I can't tell my buyer that. My buyer wants to know that I'm going to be compensated. That's the bottom line. There's also different ways you can skin the cat. I mean, there's 15 different ways we could figure it out if, if it comes down to it. But some agents were just like, no, sorry. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that my buyer was being unreasonable or you think that the sellers or seller's agents are being unreasonable by not offering compensation to a buyer's agent? I, I understand his logic. I get it. But at the same time, you could be passing on something that maybe I can figure out how to work the commission into the deal. Let me know your thoughts.